For nearly five decades, Voyager 1 has traveled alone through the vast, silent void beyond our solar system. An aging spacecraft, it drifts farther than any man-made object in history, deeper than any probe has dared to venture. It has long been thought of as a ghost ship of the cosmos, silently carrying the hopes, data, and memories of a distant Earth. Scientists expected nothing more than the steady decline of signals as its systems aged and its power dwindled. Yet, nearly 50 years after its launch, a signal returned from Voyager 1, an anomaly so puzzling, so unlike anything previously observed, that it has left NASA scientists in stunned silence. Launched on September 5, 1977, Voyager 1's original mission was simple yet ambitious, to explore the outer planets, Jupiter and Saturn. And it did, spectacularly. It returned the first close-up images of Jupiter's turbulent storms, Saturn's rings, and their mysterious moons. But once its planetary tour was complete, Voyager 1's mission didn't end, it evolved. It became our first emissary to interstellar space, traveling at nearly 38,000 miles per hour, venturing farther than anyone could have imagined. In 2012, it officially left the heliosphere, entering the interstellar medium. Since then, it has been sending back data about cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and plasma waves. Its instruments are primitive by today's standards, yet still functional, barely. In early 2024, NASA's Deep Space Network picked up an unusual signal from Voyager 1. At first, it seemed like a glitch, just noise. But as data analysts combed through the transmission, they realized it had structure. There was a repeating pattern, something that looked eerily like an organized, encoded message. The signal wasn't coming from Earth, nor was it bouncing off any known object. It originated from the exact position where Voyager 1 should be. But that's what made it so strange, Voyager 1 was never programmed to send anything like this. The signal didn't match any telemetry output the spacecraft was designed to send. Its instruments and communication systems, built with 1970s technology, weren't capable of composing such complex transmissions, at least not on their own. Even more baffling, the pattern in the signal didn't resemble data errors or cosmic noise. Instead, it resembled something structured, intentional. Engineers double-checked the onboard systems, thinking perhaps a software glitch caused the craft to reconfigure its data stream. But Voyager 1 hasn't received a software update in decades. There's no remote patching capability. It's flying blind, on autopilot, running on the last remaining threads of its original code. As NASA struggled to interpret the transmission, a deeper question began to emerge. Was Voyager 1 sending the signal, or was something else using Voyager 1's antenna to transmit it? The idea was chilling. For a brief moment, it felt as if the lonely spacecraft had become more than a machine. Was it still ours? Or had it become a vessel for something unknown? The anomaly triggered a wave of urgency. Researchers ran simulations, compared historical logs, and even revisited archived recordings. Nothing like this had ever been encountered before, not from Voyager, not from any deep space probe. Radio astronomers joined the investigation, attempting to detect similar patterns from other regions of space. But the signal was specific, localized, and isolated to Voyager 1. Speculation began to swirl. Some suggested it might be the result of cosmic interference, perhaps a rare alignment of plasma waves interacting with the craft systems. Others theorized that Voyager had encountered an exotic form of matter or energy, triggering the strange signal. A few even dared to ask the unthinkable. What if Voyager 1 had made contact? Not with aliens in the Hollywood sense, no green beings or flying saucers, but contact with a phenomenon we simply don't understand. Something intelligent in design but utterly alien in form. After all, we have no frame of reference for what non-human intelligence might look or sound like, especially if it's not biological, but perhaps artificial, or even something emergent from the fabric of space itself. The Voyager 1 signal was not just data, it was a riddle. And the message, if that's what it was, seemed to challenge our understanding of both the spacecraft and the space it inhabits. An internal memo from a NASA insider leaked to the public hinted that parts of the signal resembled musical tones, 
structured harmonics, like a cosmic melody. Others saw binary sequences interspersed with gaps, suggesting an intelligent pause, a form of punctuation or segmentation. It was as if Voyager was trying to speak in a language we were never meant to understand. The public became captivated. Social media exploded with theories. Was this a sign of extraterrestrial life? A message from the future? Had Voyager crossed into a dimension where the laws of physics began to break down? and what we received was an echo from that unknown frontier. Some called it a cosmic whisper, an eerie, otherworldly message etched across the void. And while skeptics dismissed these ideas as fantasy, even they admitted the signal was unprecedented. Meanwhile, Voyager 1 continued its journey, slowly drifting into the abyss. The signal persisted for a few days, then abruptly stopped. Since then, the probe has returned to its normal telemetry, sending back the familiar trickle of information about cosmic rays and interstellar plasma. But the memory of that signal, its structure, its defiance of explanation, still lingers. What makes this story so haunting is Voyager's symbolic role. It carries a golden record, a time capsule of Earth's music, languages, and cultures, intended for any intelligent life that might one day find it. But now, it's as if Voyager, after nearly five decades in the dark, has sent something back. Not a cry for help. Not a simple status report. But something else. Something uninvited. Something that might not even be from us at all. Could the signal have been a byproduct of some natural cosmic process we've never observed before? Could extreme interstellar conditions have altered the functioning of Voyager's communication array in a way we don't yet understand? Maybe. But if that were the case, why would the signal have such a defined, repeating structure? Why now, after all these years? Or maybe we're not looking at this the right way. Maybe Voyager didn't just stumble upon something, it may have triggered something. Like a key unlocking a door, or a question finally reaching the right listener. For decades, we've sent signals into space. The golden record was just one. Radio waves, radar pings, telescope pulses. Maybe the universe finally answered. And it chose Voyager, the furthest echo of human exploration, as the medium. This raises unsettling questions. What lies beyond our current understanding of interstellar space? Could there be forces or entities that exist in forms beyond our perception? Sentient patterns in plasma, conscious magnetic fields, intelligence embedded in quantum fluctuations? We've always imagined alien life as something with eyes, limbs, and voices. But the universe may be more creative than that. The Voyager signal might be our first glimpse of intelligence without a face, a mind without matter, a presence that exists not in the material but in the informational fabric of space itself. And yet, after all the analysis, all the theories, no one can say with certainty what happened. The data was real. The signal was captured. It was not a hoax, nor an error, nor a misread. And then, it was gone. Just a fleeting moment in the grand timeline of cosmic history. But for those few days, something reached across the void. Voyager 1 remained silent once again. Drifting through the eternal night, its signal now faint and familiar. But it is no longer just a machine. It is a mystery. A messenger. Perhaps even a mirror, reflecting not what we know, but what we don't. It reminds us that in the vastness of space, silence is not always empty, and even the loneliest objects may carry messages far beyond their design. As Voyager 1 moves ever outward into the unknown, the memory of that strange signal haunts every scientist who studied it. It has left a permanent scar on our understanding of space. And perhaps, one day, it will return. Maybe from Voyager. Maybe from somewhere, or something, else. Until then, we wait. We listen. And we wonder. This is Discovery at 2.0, and we'll continue to follow Voyager's journey and the mysteries it stirs in the darkness of deep space. Because out there, past the limits of our reach, lies the unknown, and Voyager just might have knocked on its door.